you came to the crib, Phil's crib, where he shares his opinions on random topics. And now, here's your host, Phil. In this edition of Phil's Crib, we're going to cover a video that's been out of a father who's intervened to stop his son from getting involved with a gang. Now, we have this gang problem within the black community with our young boys, and they are contributing to the black genocide that's going on in our community. Well, let me go roll a clip of the father doing what every father in America needs to do if they see their child going the wrong route. Because he... And none of these motherfuckers over here gonna be part of none of that shit. Get right or get wrong. Fuck out of here. What the fuck I'm saying for I break your fucking jaw? I support the actions of this father 1000%. If we had more black fathers stepping in and stopping their sons from getting involved with these idiots on the street who's contributing to killing our people, maybe things could turn around. See, this is why black men, we have to be in our children's life, especially our sons. See, these women will get mad at me when I say this, but I know this just by being a man. I know this by being a father. It gets to a point with those boys when they get about the teenage stage. And some of these boys, the women cannot handle anymore because they want to start flexing their little muscles. They want to think they're a man and it takes a man to check them. It takes a man to put them in their place. And it's a sad thing if they do not have a father around to do this and they wilding out and their mama can't control them. Now this father saw what his son was about to get involved with, which these gangs have no choice uh, of an end. Either you're gonna be dead or you're gonna be locked up in jail. That's about the only end you have um, to get involved with gangs. This is part of the element of the black genocide, which comes in definitely threes. The main black genocide, and I wanna cover that action radio show, is abortion. That's number one. Number two is the gangs, and number three is the police. But we have seen so many black people killed with these gangs shooting innocent people shooting each other and that stuff needs to stop and most of this stuff can stop with brothers like that this is why you don't make babies with any female if you're not going to take the situation seriously we got to also focus on that as well because these gangs going on in our neighborhoods are very counterproductive they are hurting our people and they are just constant reminders of failure poverty and just things that's just not right within our community now a lot of these gangs were originally started to actually protect the community from police and outside influences who was coming in Ku Klux Klan but they got corrupted and now they are just a menace to our community so no father want their son a part of that so this father did the right thing and most of these kids that want to get involved with these gangs they're not no real men they they not no real killers like that i mean if they ain't got that group with them or pistol they weak as a mouse as you saw this boy in this video if he's so much of a gangster why he can step to his father when he, his father told him look i ain't gonna throw these on you i'm gonna, basically gonna slap box him he told his son you could throw them hands he didn't want to do that now what kind of killer is he supposed to be but i guarantee you give him that pistol he gonna think he's somebody so this father saved his son's life and don't come up here talking about this abusive because we live in a time period as all y'all get to see it's better that father do what he just did in this video than that police get over there and, and, and shoot his son to death or beat his son to death and say he was reaching for his waistband. I was in fear of my life. Um, you know, I thought he had a gun. You know, what the cops say? Just to kill our young boys. So, as parents, we definitely need to step in, keep them police out of our family issues. Stop calling them for every doggone thing. Because, like I said, you can be calling them to kill your family member. And go back to how we used to be, as especially black parents. Keep them folks out of our business and our life. And raise our kids right. This is what we have to do. Because if that father wasn't around, I believe that boy would probably end up in jail. 
Now, as long as that father's watching him, he's not going to be a part of nothing because he's afraid of his father. And them boys got to be afraid of somebody. Now, some boys can be raised with their mother, and that's no problem, as I stated, you know, before with some boys. But then some, their mama can't handle them. And then what are they going to do? You know, they don't have a father around. You got to have an uncle, cousin, somebody that can step in to get this boy on the right track. And that's a lot of it. That single parent household making these babies and not having fathers is killing our community. And they getting involved with these gangs thinking that's a real man. That's, uh, you know, what you should be, which is not. I mean, so many things you could do outside of being an idiot on the street, uh, killing our people, killing yourself, hurting just, you know, the whole community. So shout out to this father for being a real man, standing up and stopping this from happening. And uh, more fathers, you know, be encouraged by this. Make sure to subscribe to this channel where we also feature so disrespectful YouTube comments and advice show radio. Want news that isn't politically correct or influenced by a corporate agenda? Subscribe to the Advice Show TV, where we present media with a common sense approach. Looking for something funny to get you through the day? Subscribe to Ratchet Video Weekly. Thank you for listening and see you next time.